What up y'all, gonna be showing you how to play Destiny Rising on Mac. There's a couple caveats I need to get out of the way though. First is that this method only works on Apple Silicon Macs, meaning any Mac with the M series chip in it. If you have an Intel Mac, you can Google or YouTube how to use Boot Camp and then use an Android emulator. The other caveat is that if you want to play with controller, it works amazing. And if you need a controller, I'll leave a link to some Mac compatible controllers on Amazon in the description. Now for mouse and keyboard, I managed to get it working, but I'm not exactly sure how or why it's working, so I'll take you through the steps I took that eventually got it working for me, but again, I don't know how or why, so if it doesn't work for you, I don't know how to help. And with all that being said, let's get into it. First up, go to playcover.io, I'll leave everything in the description. Before we hit download, as Mac gamers, we already have to deal with workarounds and third-party apps just to play games like everyone else, so I wanted to put you onto a tool that's free to use forever and makes the whole experience safer. Proton VPN. It's based in Switzerland with strict privacy laws, completely ad-free, and even their free plan has no speed or data caps. But the real value is in VPN Plus, with full access to thousands of servers, streaming unlocks, and secure core security. You can try it with my link in the description and support the channel at the same time. In the upper right hand corner, click download, click latest, and hit allow. Then in our downloads folder, double click the DMG, drag play cover to our applications, and then in our applications, find and double click play cover. Hit open. Now we need to go get the Destiny Rising IPA file. So we're gonna go to decrypt.day, again I'll leave it in the description, in the search bar type in the game, and click the one by NetEase Interactive. On the right hand side, click download for free. Now if it lets you click download, obviously click download, but if for some reason it's grayed out and it's saying you're using an ad blocker, but you know you're not, check the link in the description. I'll leave a video on basically how to bypass this. So click download, get download link, download, and it might start downloading right away. You might have to hit allow. It might open a new tab and you might have to go back to the old tab and hit allow. Just kind of depends on what mood it's in. That's going to download and I'll be back when that's finished. Once that's downloaded, click and drag the IPA file into play cover. It's going to extract. Once that's finished, you'll see the game here. However, before you click on it, there's a couple things I need to go over. First, I'm not sure how it's going to work for this game, but if you're playing the game and it asks you to update and you click update and it brings you to the app store, and obviously you can't update the game from the app store, you're going to need to go back to decrypt.day. Basically just type in the search bar, click the game, and they're pretty quick with it. So shortly after the game is actually updated, they should have the decrypted version here. You download it, get the new IPA file, and then just click and drag it into play cover and that will update the game. Now here's where it gets tricky. If you're playing on controller, all you have to do is right click the game, settings, and uncheck key mapping. Hit OK. You can log into the game and you're pretty much good to go. Only thing is, is play cover typically doesn't work with Apple sign in and it was the same case for this game, at least for me. So you'll have to sign in as a guest or another account and you'll be pretty much good to go playing. Now if you want to play with mouse and keyboard, we also have to disable key mapping, but you need key mapping to play with mouse and keyboard. So so I'm going to show you what I did and hopefully it'll work for you. So same thing as controller, right click, settings, and disable key mapping and hit OK. We're going to double click the game. And the reason we have to disable key mapping is because if it's on, it'll boot up the game, but when you try to like log in and play, it'll crash. So once you're in, it's going to download and configure a bunch of stuff. And again, if you try to sign in with Apple, probably won't let you. I'm going to sign in as a guest. Select your age, confirm, then agree, and then you can tap anywhere to start. It's going to take you through this cutscene. You can skip it in like a minute, then just pick whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Once you're here and you're able to actually like play, what I did next was exit out of the game, right click the game and hit uninstall app, make sure everything's checked, uninstall. Then I went to my applications and uninstalled play cover. So right click, move to trash. Then under finder, you go to the search bar and press shift 
command G. Type in tilde slash library slash containers and double click this first one. Users, whatever your username is, library containers. That's going to bring you here. Yours is going to look a bit different from mine. I have mine set up to do highest size to lowest size. If you want to do that, I'll leave a link in the description. This is basically also how you delete games from play cover. If you don't want to do that, basically you just got to scroll through and find the destiny rising folder, right click, move to trash. You might also have a play cover folder. You might not. It's not this one on the screen. It just says play cover. If you see this one, don't worry about it. If you see that play cover one, delete that one too. And then we can go to our trash and make sure we empty it. All right, now we're basically going to do the same thing again. Double click play cover, drag it over to our applications, go to our applications and double click play cover. Hit open, put the IPA file back into play cover. Same thing, let it extract. Now right click and this time leave key mapping on. All right, for mouse and keyboard to import my keybinds, all you got to do is download this play map. I'll leave linked in the description. It'll bring you to my Kofi page. It's free, so right click the game, import key mapping, find wherever you downloaded the play map at and hit open. It'll say key mapping imported. Now we're gonna double click the game. It's gonna verify. It's gonna go through the same thing, downloading and configuring files. Agree, tap anywhere to start. So I'm right past the tutorial and not in combat, so the button layout is a little bit different. The reason we need to use a play map is because we're playing the iOS mobile version of the game, which technically does have mouse and keyboard support, but it does not work with play cover. So we need to create our own artificial mouse and keyboard support. So what a play map does is let you bind keys on your keyboard to spots on the screen that would imitate a touch press. And that's why we need to use it. But if we go up to the top and hit key mapping and hit open key map editor, it'll basically show you all the binds that I made. Now I usually don't play mouse and keyboard, so I don't know if these binds are good or not. If you wanna change anything, all you gotta do is click the little button. Let's say you don't want jump to be space. You wanna make it, I don't know, V. Click V on your keyboard and it will change to V. If you want to create new binds for the social buttons, click it, press the top one. If you want to make it smaller, you can press command and down arrow on your keyboard. That'll make it smaller or bigger with up arrow. It doesn't matter. And then click the button on your keyboard you want it to correspond to. I would leave the mouse where it is and I would leave the D-pad the same size where it is. If you move the mouse, it starts to think you're using the D-pad. And if you make the D-pad smaller because it isn't a fixed joystick, it just makes it a little wonky. And you can click and drag anything wherever you want. Once you're done, go back up top, key map and hit close key map editor your mouse will disappear because it's now being used to look around if you want your mouse back all you got to do is press option on your keyboard it will be back and then you can use it to click whatever social thing you want if you didn't want to do individual buttons for it and then press option again to get rid of the mouse and use it to look around again all right I'm going a little bit out of order here but when you get to the customization part, the first time I did it, it did not work. It was not registering my clicks or anything. I exited the game, restarted it. It worked. If that doesn't work, I would try doing the process we did before, where you uninstall the game, uninstall play cover, delete the files for the game, and do it that way and see if that works. Although you will have to go through the whole tutorial again. Also, real quick, sometimes when I was trying to press the skip button or select a dialogue option, I couldn't select it with the mouse or one of the keybinds. If that happens to you, all I did was exit out of the game and boot it up and it worked again. Anyways, that's about it. Hopefully that helped you. Again, if that did not get mouse and keyboard working for you, I'm sorry. I genuinely don't know how to help. Yeah, anyways, that's about all I got for you. Hopefully this helped and you enjoy the game. And that's about it. See ya.